Hello, everybody, and welcome to another stream of mine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this time this won't be in our stream. Just making sure everything's all good, by the way. Um, but hello, everybody. <laughs> so, it's another new week, which means it's a new game that I'm going to be playing. Yeah, so, hello, Slacko. It's going to be uh, Princess Peach Showtime, since, you know, why not? <laughs> why not? Um, so, yeah, this will be blind. And that's basically it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, but with, I guess without further ado, I guess I would just get into it. I have played the demo of it. And I played it a little bit. But it's mostly just the demo part uh, when you first play the demo. But that's basically it. Otherwise, I don't know anything about the game. All I know is that it's very short, apparently, which kind of is kind of conflicting with the price for this game. But we shall see. Hopefully it's not too short, but I don't know. And um, it's very casual. And it's made by the same team that is that did Kirby's Epic Yarn, uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, Crafted World, I, think, I believe, and a bunch of other stuff. But that's basically it. Uh, but without further ado, I guess we'll uh, get this started. I have adjusted the volume, so hopefully um, it shouldn't be too low or too loud. But uh, yeah, yeah, let's get started. All right, let's see what this game has to offer. <laughs> so yeah, uh, no back seating. Um, I am very much blind. So unless I ask for help, then you're allowed to give me tips. But otherwise, uh, no back CD, please. All right. Get this uh, started. It's showtime. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I do know that Peach's voice is the same actress. But she does have a bit different voice direction for this. So it's going to be a little off-putting. Sparkle Theater, come experience dream, mystery, and adventure with us. Oh. Like, Peach definitely does have a different voice direction. That's what I know of. So it's going to be a little bit off-putting. But hopefully I'll get used to it. Wow. Yeah, like right there when she says wow. It's not like the, her usual high-pitched wow. So it's, 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 a, it's a change, but oh, we'll get used to it. <laughs> We're finally here, Princess Peach. I'll go grab some tickets. It shouldn't take long. In the meantime, you can check out the lobby. I'll let you know once I got the tickets. Sounds good, Toad. Ooh, who are you guys? Welcome to Sparkle Theater. Yay! I do remember this is how the demo started off. So I'm kind of a little bit with just the first two uh, plays that I've done, but that's it in the demo. My heart's pounding. I can't wait. Lol. Well, we'll be ushering you into our new sword fire play momentarily. Thank you for your patience. That was pretty good. Which play should I attend? I don't know. That one looks kind of cool with the ninjas. I want to attend that one. Why? Why can't I go down there? Sorry, there's no entry pass here. Lol. Well, Today we're here to watch the plays, but it's every feast dream to perform someday too. So you guys are called Feats, apparently. Interesting name. Preparation's underway. You're still not open? Oh, uh, that's the cowboy, cowgirl thing. Or western, I should say. The sparkler in this play is so good. Their sparkle is unreal. Sparklers are our top stars. They have that extra pizzazz. They breathe life into onto the stage. Oh, Princess Peach, I got the tickets! Well, I guess Toad is ready. Allow me to show you. Where is the shop? Sparkle in this play is the best. Alrighty. Peach doesn't, you know, she moves just fine. Alright, let's go talk to Toad. Here's your ticket. Did you notice how crowded it is in here? Must mean the shows are great. <laughs> Saving the game. <laughs> Sounds like our play will start soon. We shall head to our seats. Uh-oh. That ain't good. <laughs> we have an announcement for everyone gathered here today. It's now time for... A performance of terrifying proportions featuring yours truly, Grape, 
and my crew the Sour Batch. No, oh, her crown! Well, <laughs> rip her crown. That's all I know of the plot is that basically this grape takes over the theater and that's it, but we shall see. It's very simplistic for what I heard. But nothing wrong with simplicity. Oh. Okay. Who is <laughs> crying out? Hello. What's wrong? Even Peach when she said what's wrong, yeah, it's definitely not her usual voice direction. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3 vibes. It kind of gives me Luigi's Mansion vibes, it's for sure, yeah. Huh? You want to know what's wrong? Uh, well, some strange uh, mask characters are making a complete disaster of our play. Can't predict to play with them around. I don't know what to do at this point. So you came to attend some place, and now you're witnessing this whole mess, huh? Hmm. I'm sorry to hear it. Uh, I had to sort this out, but I don't think I can do it alone. it mean a whole lot if you help me. What do you say? Mm -hmm. <gasps> really? You'll help? Hmm. Yeah, of course. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Mm -hmm. My name's Stella. I'm a sparkle sprite who watches over the theater. And you are Peach? What a great name! With the power of Sparkle on our side, we'll take back the play, and the show will go on. The masked character I mentioned were in the sword fire play. Let's get in there. I mean... <laughs> I can definitely tell that this game does not run like a 60 at all. Definitely not, but eh, it's fine as long as it's playable. Castle of Thorns. Um, so yeah, so since this is blind, I'm not gonna guarantee to get everything 100% on first try, so I, there may be at some point I might replay the stages, or plays rather. Oh yeah! Oh, a hiccup. So all these are plays and such that we're doing. Well, so hopefully the volume is good. <laughs> no plumbers allowed. <laughs> also, hello, Dark Signer Carly. Hello, welcome to the stream. So this is the Swordfire story, and sure enough, it still feels off in here. Huh? Oh, oh no! Someone's been hurt. Oh my! <laughs> Could the mask one be responsible for this? I mean, probably. I mean, who else? Huh, I got it. Okay, I got an idea. We should try using this power of sparkle. And get a little bit of hair makeover. Hey, well, that's cute on her. I mean, it's like her usual, like, sportsy kind of, um, hairstyle, in a way. I can use sparkle through that ribbon, Peach. Come on, you sparkle to help these feet. Okay, this, okay, they are called feet, okay. All right, and we just use the ribbon and bada boom. Mario doesn't know what he's missing out on. <laughs> he's missing out on a fun play. Mm -hmm. This is just one of the powers of sparkle. It can help people and things shine and feel bright. Mm -hmm. With your help, we can fix everything using the power of sparkle. Let's go. Yeah, the Peach voice I had to get used to, even though it is the same actress that's doing Peach's voice. Just a different voice direction for her. Looks like this area has gone back to normal. But, we better check out the castle. Alrighty, sounds good. Alright, so now our adventure begins. Alright, see these things. So yeah, I have played the demo. So the demo includes the sword fighter and I believe the patissier um, peach uh, stage, but that's it. Oh no, I'm scared. There they are. Looks like they're still causing trouble. And we can attack them. Cool. Or cure them, I suppose. They just dance just get the power of sparkle. Alright, let's grab some of these coins, because who knows, we might actually need them for, I don't know, buying stuff. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm turning you guys into, I don't know, nice uh, masked peeps. I don't know what you guys are actually considerably really called. 
That doesn't matter. I'm gonna turn you guys into good folks. Uh, but Mario will be back in stage plays in May. That is true. He will be back in stage plays. So essentially, you're kind of doing back-to-back -back games of stage. I'll be on stage really. This is a shark of the least of the castle, or it was. Where the path go? I don't know, but let's go find it. So yeah, uh, for right now, I'm kind of familiar with this stage since it was in the demo. But everything else, I'm pretty much blind on. Now I can keep going. Cool. Oh yeah, these are definitely new voice lines for Peach, alright? <laughs> it says, ah, it's a sparkle gem. Proof of your fantastic efforts. These gems are packed with shining power, so I'm sure they'll be of use as we continue. Alright. I'm just checking the volume just to make sure that it's all good, but hopefully it can be heard. We got a good view of the castle from here. We're getting closer. Oh no! Ah, what's with all the thorns? Oh, the king's in the castle! Uh, nothing I can do around here? I don't think so. I just need to swing with more oomph! There you go. Apparently the ribbon just kind of gives you... Confidence? Strength? <laughs> I feel invincible! Yeah, this game very much feels very casual, like, you know, Kirby's Epic Yarn casual. Well, I feel like Kirby's Epic Yarn is, like, a little bit more challenging casual. Because, like, getting 100% in that game is, uh, <laughs> can be a little bit difficult. Now, let's go in here real quick. And let's turn these into trees. Well, bloom them, I should say. And plus get more coins out of them. Yeah, this is basically like the demo parts of the game. If you did play the demo, that's all I know. All right, man, we got ourselves a ribbon. I don't <coughs> exactly know what that is for, but hopefully we'll see soon. All right. Uh, still nothing yet. You can get hurt and um in these stages, so Peach is not <laughs> invincible. She can't get hurt. Now this I just found out recently is like, oh, apparently I missed one of the clipless here because you gotta bloom all these trees. Even the demo I missed this part, so I didn't actually look in here. Nope, coin! There we go. They're blocking the castle! There you go, guys. Alright, cool. Yep, so as you see, um, Peach has, like, um, health. So, she can get hurt. Even though these got, these things are made out of cardboard and paper. That's a starflower sparkle peach. They can use it together. Okay, yeah, I did not scroll through that text. But let's go and, I guess, magical girl up. <laughs> Basically, peach is a magical girl. This was the first instance where we saw Peach um, gl uh, dress glowing. And we see Starfighter Peach. <laughs> Man, I, like, like I said, the voice has to get used to. <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> it's the Starfighter! But when I'm thinking of these, the different costumes that she takes on, it kind of reminds me of Kirby's copy abilities for sure. So, there's the inspiration there. <laughs> I mean, I suppose. Because it, it very much is akin to Kirby's copy abilities. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. We need the sword fighter. But I do like the outfits. Like, I think that's one of the appeals in this game, is just basically the different outfits that Peach can take on. And of course, you know, her being, you know, the hero, finally, instead of being a damsel, which is good. I like that. I like her, you know, having her own uh, character and story. Not one step farther. So one thing that, uh, that it doesn't really tell you is that you can dodge um, enemies at just the right time, whether you're attacking repeatedly 
or if you jump just in time. I feel like the the dodge in this game is a little bit weird because the timing it kind of varies. Like especially like the next part is coming up. Like, that's all I know about this whole dodge thing with Sword Fighter Peach. Like, the, the, the dodging feels a little bit weird. Especially, like I said, especially for, um, an uh, enemy that's coming up. From when I played at the demo. It took me a bit, and I actually did get the game over. <laughs> also, um, uh, for these shiny spotlights, if you press DL or ZR, you have to do, like, a little, um, I guess, pose. And then it'll take you to, like, a secret area. But yeah. But otherwise, uh, Sword Fighter Peach is pretty cool. I, I mean, it's basically just her, you know, being a sword fighter and, and fighting back. So I like that. It gives her something to do, really. <laughs> Alright. Take out these thorns. And let's have over here. Okay. Okay, I was gonna say, can I move? The king! What can we do? Oh no. The king is in trouble. We have to hurry. He must save our king. <laughs> As a reminder, everything in this is a play. I guess they're just sort of playing along with the situation that's happening. That's as far as you go. Hey, you're not Birdo. Take her down. You got it. So yeah, there's a either uh, you can dodge out of the way or you can jump out of the way. Now this guy here, I had a little bit of trouble my first time with how to dodge him. It's a little bit weird. Like, basically just jump out of the way in time. Alright, cool. Like, you can't really attack this guy. You have to kind of do like a little jump. Ah, okay, I'm trying to jump. Come on. There we go. Yeah, like, this guy was a little bit weird to dodge my first time. I actually did get a game over in the demo of this. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's very, very picky uh, when they, the game wants you to dodge. Hello, boys. The surf is here! Charge! <laughs> I, like, I can't, I can't take the game ser the story or the game seriously, because it's, it's, it's one of those games that's very casual. Like, not, not to say casual games are bad, it's just that it's a very simplistic story slash game, so I can't really be too- Oh, I don't know if she can do that! Oh, she could do like a little up twirl thing. Oh, that's cool! I didn't know she could do that! Okay, that's something new I didn't know about. That's actually pretty cool. She can't hit downwards, okay. Well, that's actually pretty cool, I did not know that. But yeah, anyways, um, since this is a very simplistic um, game and story, I can't really comment much about it. <laughs> like, well, what's going on? But, you know, nothing wrong with very casual games. Alright. There's the king! This is our castle now! No, it's not. This is my show. You won't get past me. Got a little webs in your mouth. Alright, so let's take out the thorns. And once that happens, uh, this plant will drop below. And all you gotta do is just jump out of the way and slash it. Alright, cool. Back away a little bit. Get rid of these thorns. Kinda reminds me of what's that movie? Um, <laughs> uh, Sleeping Beauty in a way, with the thorns a bit. Okay, so there, I mean, there's really not much of a timing, I guess, as long as you jump before you get hit. That's all that matters. But anyways, we got rid of the thorns. Like that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hey, we got everything, though. Cool. Alright. Ooh, we got a dress ribbon. Nice, Sue. I shall try that on. Yeah, I, I think one of the appeals of this game is that Peach has, like, many outfits. That's what I heard about. Uh, yeah. Huh. 
Also, I hope everyone's doing well on this Monday. Hope everyone's week will start off good. Alright, so we clear the Sword Fighter um, play. Uh, 100%, I suppose. We did it! Together we were able to use the Power of Sparkle. But the theater's not back to normal yet. I wonder if those glowing threads and the symbol in the lobby here are related. I bet the other plays need our help too. Come on, let's go check them out. Check them out. Blech. Check on them. All right. All right. I guess we could look around a bit. Stella, do you know what's going on? I don't know, Stella. Do you? Hello. Ever heard of a heart charm? They're all the rage among new actors. You carry one on you, I'll grant you three bonus hearts. Ah, uh, no, not right now. Let me know if you want to change your mind. I probably will at some point. Let's go see what's down here first. I don't think I've been down here. Uh, let's go check out what's down here. Aww. Basement floor. This is the theater's basement, but it feels very strange down here. Uh, just chilling today. I'm actually off this way for my morning work shift. So yeah. Oh, that's cool. Good, good, good. Uh, there are many doors here, huh? I bet there might be something like here in the middle from the looks of it. Yeah, like so far, like the, ga the way the camera is angled and just the feel of this game, it kind of sort of feels like Luigi's Mansion 3 vibe. Which is funny enough, it's not even made by next two level games, funny enough. Which I'm surprised it isn't. Huh. I wonder if these are like bosses or challenges, maybe. But I guess we can't do anything with this room at the moment. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, pfft. I'm gonna go and do the Patissier, uh play. Because that's like, you know, where the demo is as well. Stairs are blocked. These throws are blocking the path. I can't go upstairs. But what about you? Who are you? The theater is really spooky right now. Ah, a customer. Could I interest you in some wonderful dresses? I take coins as payment. I have lovely ribbons for you as well, Stella. Please take a look. Oh, we could change Stella's color or something. So Peach has many dress designs, but um, we're going to wear that thing that we just got from the Sword Fighter play. Ooh. Oh, there's a black one too. <laughs> you know I'm going for black because I like the color black. Yes. Yes. We'll change Stella's color. Alright, cool. The doors in the basement give me DK64 vibes with the wrinkly condors in the level lobbies. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. So, we have a collection here. Um, uh, ensembles. Oh, so it basically just shows what kind of thing that Prince Peach can change into. We got music, we got movies, and we don't need to look into that. Uh, wardrobe. Oh, there we go. Oh, that does change the color of her bow, too. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, well, we'll change it to this. This is kind of cute on her. Alright, so we got this. We got Cowgirl in the Wilderness, which I won't do yet. And, hello. And this is the patissiary thing. Welcome to the Festival of Sweet, which is another stage that they included in the demo. So after this stage, I'm going to be basically be blind. Because they only included, yeah, the um, sword fighter and the patissiere peach. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, but <laughs> some people call her chef peach. Some people call her patissiere peach or baker peach. Baker peach just sounds better, in my honest opinion, because I can't really pronounce patissiere. <laughs> but it does sound pretty alright. Alright, let's play. Yeah, I see it's rather calm here. Ooh, they're holding the sweets festival here. The bakers prepare sweets and then share them with everyone. Cool, cool. It looks like my kind of vibe, because I love sweets. This is going to be amazing. I'm so excited. I want to taste a cake made by Artisan. Artisan. Mm. Oh, Massville is here. Let's head to the gate for the festival opening. Yeah, this seems rather calm. Nothing wrong with this play. Yeah, okay, it's just a normal play, right? Right? Wrong. 
Ooh, it's about to start! It is so hard! Ka ka! These sweets are ours! Now they're mine! Give them back! Our precious sweet, what did we do? Please don't steal any more from us! There's no time to slow! We can still do something! Quick, this way! Alright, I guess we shall go. Oh no, not all the tasty sweets! They all look good though. Alright, well let's stop these guys. And one more here. There we go. And we got a little collectible and a bow. So I guess if you didn't stop, they probably wouldn't get that. Thanks for stopping them. The cake! My heart can barely take it. All those cookies. Oh god. The festival won't go on. Not if I tell you guys to do so. Here you go. There's still time before the festival. We'll just need more ingredients. Come on. This way. <laughs> it's so very simplistic. I can't really give these guys voices. <laughs> like, it's very different from a very story driven game, which I kind of do prefer, but, you know. Sometimes there's nothing wrong with being simplistic in a game or playing simplistic games. Also, I see you up there. I'm trying to jump up there. There we go. Alright, got grabbed another sparkle. I don't know what those collectibles are, but we got one of those. Alright, so we got the ingredients, so I guess it's time to bake a cake. This leads to the special pastry kitchen. Let's go! Also, Peach does a little dance when I'm not doing anything. No, no, I want to see her do the little dance. Do it again. I thought her would, like, do a little jig. No, do a little dance. You were dancing earlier. <laughs> do a little dance. Nope. Or do I have to spin? She was dancing a little bit. I want to see it. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna dance for me. You're camera shy. <laughs> oh no, the baker! Where's the baker? I don't know. Where's the baker? Alright. Surely you can help us. I gladly will. Alright, time for another magical girl moment. I like even the dress design actually kind of how it transfers over to the cutscene. I like that, but of course, with the new outfit, it kind of overwrites that. But she is cute in this outfit. Patissier Peach. Like she still has, like it's still the same actors are doing some of the notable um, sounds of Peach's voice, but you know there is a, like some new lines and a different tone for her. Look at you! What a patissier! The festival will now go on. I like her little pigtails, though. That bell is going to start soon. Let's make cookies for the guest. Let's hop to it. All right, let's hop to it. All right, time to bake. Make cookies with us. Gotta take. We gotta make tons before time runs out. Place the finished cookies on the carts. Let's make a warm-up bash first. Alrighty. Let's do that. So basically, you repeatedly press B. Kind of get it when you have a little um, decoration on top of the dough. And then that's considered perfect for what I got. So, But you don't want to over-bake them. Because otherwise, um, yeah, you'll just basically just mess up on the, uh, on the cookie. Okay, I don't think I got perfect on that one. These guys are really good, though, because, um, I think they give you extra. Yeah, they give you extra cookies for that. So, we'll do our best to bake a really, really tasty cookies. Alright. Oh, but a mission for this, though. There we go. There's, uh, these guys here. I want to take- Nope! Ah, dang it. Fine. Ooh! Yeah, you don't want to over-bake, so that's a problem if you- Overbake. There we go. Come on. Oh, there's another one. Here we go. Oh, there's another one. Oh, come here. Come here. Nope. Oh, there's a bunch of you guys. Whoop! Oh, up oh, there it goes. <laughs> that's okay. I actually reached perfect, so that's good. Oh, 
One more, one more, one more, one more. There we go, haha. -ha. Alright, and I think I got all the medals, the collectibles that I need. Yay! And then more coins, sweet. And one extra one. I guess that's when you, like, got- you did everything perfect, I'm assuming. Such quality and so many, thank you. I bet the festival goers will love them. Can we get your help with something else? Sure. Alright, keep those cookies moving. Okay, okay. Uh, the guests, they're already here. How will we finish the case in time? Uh, before I do, I did miss this part in the demo, so let's go in here. So, yeah, make sure you kind of walk around, and, but if you're having, like, a control that rumbles, um, you definitely will feel that. Because it does rumble if you're, like, near a spotlight. Alright. Here you go, guys. I'm so hungry. Have some cookies, and thank you for the reward. Thank you. Alright, so I'm assuming the last two is probably... Like, or last three is, like, the last part of this. The cake base is already, but... Oh, you must be... Hurry, hurry! I don't know how you would take damage in this play, but sure. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna make some cakes. All the recipes and decorate the cakes. Let us know when they're ready to go. And... Begin! Alright. Time to decorate some cakes. But yeah. Basically, just kind of like squirt the frosting on the cake. And once you're done, hold A and tell them that it's complete. So yeah, just basically follow what's on the right over there, basically. Alright. Uh, this one is more so doing this. Stay in one part of this and make it a little circle. Alright. So yeah, they, it doesn't have to be perfect perfect, but as long as you kind of get in the around the same spot, it will, you know, change the decoration. Alright, and we got a star here. Put one there. Boop. And boop. Uh, boop. And boop. There we go. And create a circle around these oranges and lemons. I don't know what kind of cake this is. And that's it. It looks delicious. I mean, that one's alright. It looks like a key lime pie in a way. Uh, well, I hope I'm doing this right. Actually, I don't think I'm doing it right. Uh, hold up. Wait. I don't think I'm doing this right. Am I? Uh, there we go. I, I don't know. It's just hard to tell when it's rotating. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't tell by that. <laughs> I couldn't really tell. Alright, last one, I think. Um, oh yeah, this one. Alright. This one's not bad. Alright. Oh, I can't. Run. Okay, you know what? This way. There we go. Got 25 seconds. Oh, come on. Ah, come on. I can't get through that cake. Come on. E. Oh my god, can you, like, get over there? No! Did I run out? No, I ran out. I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I... Sword did it, I think. I I, I don't know. <laughs> I think I I think I did it. Did I do it? I think I did. Yes, no. Oh no, I, I think I did it. I think. And we could have done this without you. You decorated those kids with such skill. Got to come to open the opening ceremony. Blah. Did I, I think I did it because I remember the last um, collectible this way. Oh, my ceremony is about to start. It's almost time. The cookie will be the finishing touch. 
bet you was the honor of placing it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it perfectly. Okay, cool. I couldn't tell. Alright, place the cookie on top of the cake, and that's pretty much it. Let the festival begin! Yeah, that was a close one. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you. All right, and we collected everything. Hey, we got another dress ribbon. Cool. Get a little bit of extra money there. I could buy two things in the shop. I could buy something for Peach. I could buy something for Stella. All right, not bad, not bad. Ooh, now I'm kind of curious. I think I want to save the ninja one for last. Let's do the cowgirl one. Alright. So now at this point, I'm basically blind. So let's go buy some stuff for Peach here. Uh, let's see. If we're going for a cowgirl... Um, I guess we'll buy the gradient dress. Yeah. Fantastic. Sure. And then for Stella, uh, let's go for orange. Mm. Alright, oh wait, I do want to, no, yeah, I want to wear that, yeah, actually. Alright, mm. cool. And that's all we can buy. Oh, so what is that, um, uh, design that we have for Peach? Oh, that's kind of cute. If I have missed anything in that stage, I would have replayed it again, but maybe next time I'll put that on. But right now, we'll just wear this gradient dress. So everything's complete there, I'm assuming. Yeah, everything is complete there. Alright, um, I guess we'll do the cowgirl one. So yeah, at this point, I am blind now. <laughs> I am officially blind. Cowgirl in the, in the wilderness. Alright, let's see what this one's all about. Cowgirl in the wilderness. So, yep, now I'm in blind territory. Alright. Alright, what's happening? Oh, hello. Take everything worth anything, you hear? Those robbers are running amok. This is bad news for the town if they aren't stopped. Oh, <laughs> all right. So these tumbleweeds can turn into coin. That's actually pretty cool. Can I bloom this tree though? Nope, I can't bloom that tree. Gotta make sure everything is all right here. Come visit the wild star. All right. Nothing around here. I'm gonna go inside real quick before I talk to you. Oh, there are some folks in here. Uh, anything else? I'm gonna look at every nook and cranny for any collectibles here. Nothing around here. Nope. They stole everything! Get out of the box. Well, this is no good. We gotta get it all back! Alright. Um, I guess I'll check the other house before I talk to you. Hello? Oh! <laughs> well, I made that cactus grow. Nope, nothing. Uh, let's see, is that anything up here? Nope. Grow another cactus. Nope, there's another one here. Oh! They gave me something, I think. Yes? Hey, it does! Cool! Good. Good thing it is. Good to check around. Alright, um, anything else around here? Arr, I can't do this by myself! I'll help you a little buddy here. Hello. I suddenly feel brave. Apparently the ribbon gives them confidence. And go after them. Ha! The two of us can handle this door. Arr, maybe not. Not quite strong yet. 
A little bit of boost of confidence will cheer you up. Wow, power! Alright, now we can go after them. Alrighty. Where are they? Hello, little horse. Okay. Oh, can I, can I, like, jump up here, maybe? Oh, I can't! Oh, shoot! Hi! <laughs> Robert just, um, <laughs> went into the Wild Star. Well, I will be sure to get them in a moment. Uh, I want that. <laughs> oh, nope, I missed. A poor horse. <laughs> there we go, I want extra coins. Cool. Can I bring anything over here? Actually, let's check up here first. Uh, what? Somebody help us, eek! Uh, yeah, just hold up a sec, I'm looking around. Oh, hi. Can I do anything around here? What do you think you're doing? Alright, cool. Thanks for the help! Here's the way inside. Okay, let's go inside, I suppose. We can't get next door through this basement. Something tells me I'm not supposed to be here yet. Uh, hmm. I kind of want to go back outside real quick. Can I go back outside? No, I can't. That's lovely. All right, cool. I can't go back. You can't see me. I mean, I hear you, though. Can I turn on the lights? Oh, I can. Oh, shoot. Where was the entrance again? I don't know. Uh, let's turn on the lights. That's better. Oh, there he is. There's the little guy over there. Alright, we got another... Yep, I definitely missed one somewhere. Oh, hey! Give me that ribbon. Thank you. I guess any... Hmm, I'm noticing that anybody with a hat gives you the ribbon, I'm assuming. Oh, Peach is dancing. Hold on. Oh, she dances with them. So, if, if she's not near anybody, I guess she doesn't do the little dance. Yeah, hold on, let's see. Oh, yeah, she does dance! Oh, <laughs> that's cute! That's actually kind of cute. Alrighty. Uh, ooh. Here, behind these shelves! Ah, this is really heavy, too! Is there not anything I can do around here? Can I spin these or do I need to give you guys confidence? Confidence boost! Wow, power! Alright, I guess uh, we'll get a cowgirl, um, magical girl transformation. I do like how the costumes really do transfer into the cutscene, like with Peach's color dress and Stella's color ribbon. Howdy there! Howdy there! <laughs> Al girl Peach. I'm sure you can do it. Please save the town. Oh, okay, we're going up. Oh, we're immediately just going right up here. What do you think you're you are? Some kind of hero? Well, you ain't entertain me for a bit at least. Okay. Uh. All right. Very simple. What are the controls? Use B to lasso a barrel and toss it and show off to your rope skills. All right. Cool. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. Interesting. This actually seems kind of fun to use, not gonna lie. Okay, this is actually actually pretty cool. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> cool! Right, I definitely missed a second. I had to replay the stage. Hmm, I see you got some skill! Don't matter, my Lou and I are leaving now! You won't be catching up to the boss. Let's rumble! Hey, thank you for the heart. They won't get away. Wait up! You gotta keep holding up the boss. He just barely got away. Nay! 
I like how it has strings on it. <laughs> I see the little strings on the horse. What's this? Seems like she likes you. Seems like she wants to help you out. Hold up, my dudes. Um, I can't even... Wait, hold on. Fight line. Aha! So far, I like... Uh, I do I do like Sword Fighter and Cowgirl Peach. Can I grab these? I guess I just... Anything else? Uh, but what's the point of that? Is there, like, not anything I can grab here? Hmm. That's a little bit weird. Hmm, weird. Not sure what you do with that when I collected everything, unless that was just nothing here. I guess not every- no, hmm. There's probably something that I missed there. Can I do it again? No, I can't. It's a one-time thing. Alright. Um. Okay, I guess we're going on. <laughs> it's up to you! Alright. What are we doing? Okay. Uh. Oh, oh shoot! Oh, you guys heard. Okay. Good to know. Oh, I can jump. Alright, cool. Um. I need to watch out for that. Oh, I think I missed that too. No, I got it. I got it. No, come back here. I need to grab that. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give no, <laughs> I missed it. Oh, I'm definitely gonna replay this stage again. Seriously, this lady's relentless. Oh, maybe I just couldn't catch up to them yet. Maybe, oh, jeez, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Do I get to restart? Okay, I, I restart. Alright, cool. Um, uh, alright. Okay, so I had to get jump over these. Alright, cool. Stop that! Oh, I need to go- Oh, I need to go on the other side there. I want to go on the other side. No, I missed the other one there! No! Oh yeah, we're definitely replaying the stage. Dang it, man. What is that, though? I don't know what I pulled there, but okay. Oh! Oh my god, I missed you. Yeah, we're, de we're definitely replaying this stage. Hold on. Ah, that looks suspicious. <laughs> we're definitely replaying this stage. Alright, let's tackle you, fellas. Alright. Alright, there we go. At least I got that. I keep forgetting I had to press the pose button. How's the game? Ah, uh, it's, it's fun so far. I just did a uh, sword fighter in the patissier peach and I'm doing Calgary peach. Hello. I do have to replay the station though because I missed some stuff. Who would have thought you chased me so far? Well, fine then. Time to sell this once and for all. Uh, I can't grab that, but I can grab this. Uh, just wrangle you up. Like, oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are you gonna do, my dude? Oh, you are charging. You're a charging bull. Cool. Nope. All right. So I can't hit. I can't grab the can. I can grab the barrel though. Nope. Okay. Barrel. Up. Ah, trying to shoot me with your cannons. All right. Barrel. Can I move around this? Yes, I can. All right. Cool. And ring you up again. I didn't mean to pose there. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna be wild again, probably. Yep. Let's hope you're doing well, Nick. Oh, oh, you, you tried to debate me, my dude. Alright, how many are you gonna shoot? Three this time. Oh, uh, nope, wait. There we go. And wrangle you up. Oh, he's got, like, detachable arm, but yet again, he's a puppet or something. Alright, yeah, I missed three. <laughs> well, shucks. She say, well, shucks? <laughs> I don't know what she said. <laughs> I just ate food, so yeah, just waiting for the time to get my hair cut. Ooh, you're getting a haircut? Cool. 
Oh, we got a, a new, um, new outfit or dress for her. Cool, cool, cool. That was a fun one. Yeah, I, I can see what, how, like, I can see now that this game is short, because the stages don't even take long, I notice. So I can see people are speedrunning this game. Alright, so Cowgirl is not complete. I haven't 100 percent in this, so I will go back in there. Nothing else? Nothing else. Alright, cool. How much money do I have? But I will probably wear... Let's wear this outfit for the time being. Even though I probably should wear this one. Because I haven't seen this one yet. But, I mean, I don't want to wear all of them. But that one does look cool, though. Let's buy another dress and another color for Stella. I think I have enough. Uh, how much should I have? 165. Actually, let's buy something for Stella. Let's see. Let's go get the green one. Or, no, nah, I think I said yellow. Alright, cool. Yeah, you can change to yellow. Uh, maybe just testing the water to see if people like the game and then proceed to make more games featuring her. Yeah, that's true. Also, how's the volume? I think the volume should be relatively fine. Haven't really changed it since um, I played um, Earthbound. I think it's still good. good but yeah, a uh, very casual game for sure. But hey, if they make another one, hopefully it'll be more, I guess, dynamic in a way. It's fine, you just sound loud as always. Alright, cool. <laughs> as usual, I'm always very loud. Alright, let's try not to hit miss some things, hopefully. Alright, can I skip these? I cannot skip these, okay. I know there's like some scenes that you can skip. Alright. Well... Yeah, so I'm going to replay the stages again, so there will be times I'll be replaying them, just hopefully get all the collectibles. Alright, get you, get you, there we go. So there was nothing in here. Get you, and then... Oh wait, no, this was just for that bonus, but I might as well get just get some extra coins. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with getting extra coins here. Nice. Not really a big fan of the little cowgirl press. I'm never a fan of that. <laughs> I remember, it just reminds me, I used to have like pants that were like pink and brown and green in it. And they have these cow patterns on it. I don't know why I wore that in middle school, but it was... Something that I wore, and after looking back at him, like, why did I wear that? <laughs> it was very weird indeed. Alright. So, there was something that I missed here, apparently. I don't know what, but there was, like, another collectible that I missed here. Alright. Uh, let's get that other coin. There we go. Yeah, grab those. So, what did I miss here? Because there was uh, another collectible that I missed. I can't destroy those. Maybe it's in those barrels? Or maybe these guys? Maybe. Who is there? Oh, there it is. It's right over there. Can I grab that? Okay, so I definitely did miss that. No, I want to grab this. There we go. Okay, so I just missed that. Oh, boy. It's blocked. And there's a wave if you climb up. Well, I shall. Okay, so I just walk right past that my first time. Uh, so what else am I missing? I'm missing two of them. I think it was during the chase, I want to say. So let's just kind of skip through this. I cannot skip these, though. So sadly, we'll have to, like, wash these. I'm surprised I did not get hurt from that. Alright. Turn on the lights here. I'll also grab the coins. I do want to grab the coins. 
Um, playing this, uh, play this just kind of makes me want to play Luigi's Mansion 3 now. Because I, I don't mind Luigi's Mansion 3. That was a fun game. Alright. Then now we can go through here. <laughs> Do I get anything out of this guy? I'm not sure. Does that count as extra coins? Oh yeah, it does! Okay, it counts as an extra 10. Alright. There's not, nothing wrong with that. Turn the barrels around. Alright. And we... But thankfully you can't actually skip the transformation scene. So that's actually cool. Alright. I can skip this, right? Yep, I can skip. Cool. I don't need to see that. Alright. So I gotta do this again. I like how they're all strings, though. <laughs> Alright. That's why I do like Sword Fighter Peach and the gameplay for um, Cowgirl Peach. It's relatively fun. Alright, cool. Now I'm actually curious like what other costumes there are. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if it was like, a, I don't know, a pirate peach or something. Or a witch or wizard peach. Well, more so witch. I would like to see a witch peach or rock star peach. <laughs> if it was like a rock star kind of motif in this, I would like that. Because I know for sure there's, they, they didn't show all of them. Like there's probably more than what they advertised. Alright, so... If I don't get all of them this time, I probably would just get them off screen. Alright. A little ride. <laughs> I just love the strings on it. <laughs> I love the strings on them. Alright. Oh. Okay, so don't get hit by the carriages here. <laughs> Right, I gotta jump around this. Yep. Can I jump up here? Oh, there was a thing up there. Ow. There we go. Okay. So yeah, if I miss them again, then I'll just replay this at my own time. Well, this section. Alright, so jump over. Jump over. Get rid of you. Now, how do I get over there? Oh, wait. Go over here. There we go. Okay, I think I got all of them? Yeah, okay, I think that's all of them, actually. Grab that. Grab this. Jump. And grab that. Alright, yeah, that's all the collectibles. Cool, cool. I think, right? I think that's all of them. I hope it is. <laughs> I, I hope it is. I, I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Alright, can I skip this? No, I can't. Okay, these scenes I can't. I can skip the transformation sequence, but I can't skip these little scenes. Alright, shoot the barrel. And ring you up. <laughs> well, fine then. Time to sell this once and for all. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're being bully. Like the actual bullies from Mario 64. I heard like a random complaint that someone complained that. I was like, oh, there's no Mario in this. I'm like, that's the point. Mario was not supposed to be in this. That was his Peach's own game. Peach does not need Mario. <laughs> that's all I heard. I was like, why is someone complaining about that? I don't know. <laughs> Let Peach be her own hero. She doesn't need Mario to save her. There we go. And ring you up. Yeah, it is pretty silly that I saw that. Natara is never, never good with having everything skip. Look at Tears of King that you have no choice but to watch the starring cutscene. I mean, yeah, but everything else you can skip at least. <laughs> well, 
I think she said. I think she does say, "Well, shucks." All right, so I, I think I did get everything in that, cause uh, the gray ones are the ones I already collected, like for the first time. I know, but I like that starting that starting scene in Tears of the Kingdom. Man, it's gonna be it's gonna feel weird getting back to Tears of the Kingdom once we're done with Rebirth, though. Oh, that dress is hideous. I don't like that dress. That's an ugly dress on her. <laughs> uh, let's just wear this for now. And I guess we'll buy something else for Stella. Oh, I mean, I have... Yeah, we can buy something for Stella. Let's buy the green one. Yeah, change it to that. And I guess for Peach... Um, I guess we'll buy this one. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we'll wear that, actually. Yes. Cool. It's a Mario Extended Universe for a reason. Mario is not the most in the Warrior Land games. Most of the DK Yeah, he's not in the other games. It's just part of the Mario Universe. Alright, so we completed that. Uh, Cowgirl Peach is done. I guess we'll go into Ninja Time. Ninjutsu, the art of rapids. This one I actually was curious about because I do like the look of Ninja Peach. So this one should be fun, hopefully. That's it. I don't know the gameplay for <laughs> Ninja Peach. I like it too, but not started it over. We will be fine, don't worry. <laughs> Fair. Uh, every classic ninja story begins in the village. Huh? Looks like we won't be able to going. We'll be going that way. I. They. They go. They talk too fast. <laughs> Make sure to check everywhere for anything. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Hello. They're taking over the village. Their hidden path. There's a hidden path, I think. They're blocking the way to the manor. No one gets by. Aldo's manor ahead. Oh. Oh, look at the trees. They're pretty. <laughs> Not every ninja starts out in the village. She never the tales of, of started in some mountain path. <laughs> well, she probably is from some village. The village needs your help. Are you also a ninja? I mean, for some reason I'm named after one, even though I was I, I was born before them. All the road to reach the manor. Uh, can I do anything with this? Yes, I can. You can't force your way through. Sure, I can. Stay out of sight. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Is my training up to snuff? I don't know. Let's give you the confidence boost. Ooh. Who are you? She is a ninja something village. Mizuho or something. Whatever it's called. I think it was called Mizuho. I don't remember. Alright, so we're playing a little bit of stealthy here. Can I go behind here? Can I check? Nope, I can't. Okay, there's nothing there. Oof. <laughs> Heading to the manor? Yes, I am. Big coin over there. I feel like I missed something, but I don't know per se. Anything else around here? No. Nope. Hold on, I'm checking. I guess there's nothing else here. I'm actually surprised there's no... Hmm, okay. But there is something here, though. Oh, wait, no, that's where we came from, duh. Grab these. Anything else? No, I don't see anything. Pose for the fans. Pose for the fans. Yep. Okay, that looked kind of cool. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Hello. I'm surprised you found your way here. Could you be the ninja of legend? Yeah. Naruto? Oh, hey! Found the second one there. Always check the round corners. Alright, nothing else here. I truly thought the case that part was going to be a stealth part. You think it would be, but no, they just make you play as Kesa. Oh, 
here is the sparkle. Ah, you found your way here. Yes, I did. Perhaps you can help us. Uh, hold on. I'm... Ooh. I want the coins. Ooh. Oh, you're getting higher, my dude. Get back down here. I want all those coins. Alright. Let's, uh, transform to a ninja. Ooh, this place looks kind of cool. I like the two waterfalls on the side. Ooh, let's see what the ninja looks like. See her ninja's peach's entrance. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I, I was hoping she was gonna believe it. <laughs> ninja Peach. All right. So, ooh, so what? Oh, look at wait, what she have on her feet? Yo, the music though? I like the music. <laughs> but she's- That's cheating! She's using like little- Little things underneath her feet. She's not using ninjutsu. That's cheating! <laughs> that's cheating. She's not really standing on it. She's got like little paddles underneath her feet. Peach, you're cheating. You're not using actual ninjutsu to walk on water. Well, how we got more words for Peach besides Mario. Yeah, exactly! She's fine, but she's cheating though. She was using ninjutsu. <laughs> I mean, gotta get it as a play. So, e. What the? Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, that's cool. Use A to time your jump to balance upward between two walls. Ooh, we're wall jumping. So wait, can does she do it automatically? Oh, wait, hold on. I don't know if she's doing it automatically or. Oh, okay, yeah, she does it automatically. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. I like her hair sticks out, though. <laughs> okay, okay, I dig this music. She can attack with her kunai knives. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright, let's see. Yep, yep, there's wall jumping. Hello! A friend or foe? Ah, a friend, please help us out! Alright, uh, let me look around here first for anything. Can I do? Okay, okay, so she does this automatically. Alright, cool. Can I do anything with this? Ooh! Little secret! Or maybe not. Okay, that was just a little extra thing. They did. Oh! Conceal yourself in the grass. Oh! Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Alright, alright, this is actually pretty fun. Did I do anything with this? Nope, but I can disguise myself as a... as a... rock. But then I usually hear. Alright, cool. I just take them down like that. Cool. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. I, I dig this. I like the music though, like I very much do like the music. Oh, there's another secret spot here. Ooh. I guess this is just more so like a little coin area. Yeah, there's nothing here. Alright, I guess there's nothing else for me to get up here. Nope, okay. Cool. Nope, get in the center. There we go. Alright, alright. Oh, oh, whoop. Oh, shoot. Ooh, hold on. I wonder. If she can do that, hold on. Kind of curious. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, there's a thing up there. How do I get up there? The time for the wall uh, high technique. Oh, but what they teach you will be here. So can I move while this is happening? Yes, I can. All right, cool. All right, very simple. Very simple. Let's take care of you first. There we go. 
All right, cool. Um, but I do want to get up there. Oh, okay, I can jump up here. Cool. Let's see what's up here. We get this. That's our fifth one. Yeah, our fifth one. Can I jump over here? No, I can't. Careful, there are a lot of enemies up ahead. All right, anything else? Nope. Uh, you guys are pathetic. <laughs> Just saying, you guys are kind of pretty pathetic. Alright. Alright. Take care of you. Uh, there is a thing up there. We're looking at the gate. It does give me Warrior Land vibes, kind of. It's not bad, though. Uh, okay. There's a little thing there. Nothing. Is there anything I could do with this door? Nope. There's like a little pond over there, but I'm assuming that's probably the next area that we can go to. Anything else I can do around here? Doesn't look like it. I'm always like checking every nook and cranny for any collectible. Alright. Okay, we're going down here. Oop. Ninja Ninja Art, the pot high technique. Can I hide in the pot? And can I? Or maybe not. Oh, oh, okay, so yeah, I was right. So it was the guys with the hat that give you the ribbons. Oh, she can do this. Oh, cool. All right, all right, cool. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, ooh, ooh. So can I move while I'm in the spotlight during this part? Nothing around here. This is it. This is Warrior Land for now. One, <laughs> I mean, however you want, it, however you want, it, uh, think of, of it as. So can I like jump out of there? Cool. Yes. Oh, and that gets rid of them? No, it does. Oh no, it does. It does. Hello. <laughs> Do not let your guard down. They are after the scrolls! Oh no, not the forbidden scrolls! <gasps> oh, the scrolls are all mine! Also, I like the boom sound. You must give chase! <laughs> Sorry, that that boom sound is my favorite sound effect in the anime, or just in general. I, like, I love that sound effect. <laughs> oh, there's a secret here. Hold on. Do a pose! Pose for the fans! Oh no, me to kick out! <laughs> Get up here. There we go. Alright, cool. So far, so good with collecting the collectibles here. Same developers as Warrior Land Shake It. Oh yeah, that's right. They did work on that game, did they? Um, and also up here. Doesn't seem like anything up here. All right, cool. I guess we can move on. All right, onward to the next part of the stage. Oh shoot, I'm running. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, okay. Parkour, parkour. <laughs> oh, oh shoot! I can run up the walls. Oh, that's cool. Oh shoot. Oh, uh, all right, all right. Cool. I suppose. Okay. Oh wait. Well, hold on. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is cool. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. No, I missed that. No, I missed that. Yeah! I still somehow saved that. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yay! I am in your depth! Okay, I still didn't- I still didn't miss it. Cool. So, yeah, this is auto-running, by the way. I'm not doing the running. This is auto-running. <laughs> Oh, they dropped it, though. Ooh, what did I get? Um, excuse me? Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> what? Alright, we're riding wave now, okay, cool. Alright. I guess we have control of the wave suddenly. Give me the scrolls. Yeah, I collected everything. It's 
<laughs> a nice post peach, I like that. That was a fun stage. I like the ninja stage. That was pretty fun. I had a feeling I will love the ninja one, because I do like the outfit and I actually <laughs> do like the stage. Ooh, that's pretty though. Even though most of the time you don't really see her in the dress, so it's kind of like, not really... You can't really- you, the, the dress doesn't give a lot of screen time for the designs-wise. Ow, oh, my favorite chill beast, Rock. <laughs> Alright, that, that was a fun stage. That, I like that one. That was really fun. Alright, so now what? Is it boss time, I'm assuming? I'm assuming boss time. Alright. So now what? Nothing? It's got even weirder here. So let's buy some more outfits for Peach. Uh, oh, I could buy like two for Peach. Uh, let's get the vertical ones first. Nice. No, I don't, I'm not gonna wear that. And let's see. Let's buy. Let's buy the blue one. Uh, oh. let's have you wear this one. Yeah, sure. I think they just make you look pretty. I wonder if the boss will use the three office in each fight. I don't know. That's. I'm not sure how the boss is gonna be like if that is a boss. I do want to wear the cherry blossom one. I feel like that one I would like a lot. I keep pressing the wrong button. I mean, it's not bad. I kind of do like this one a little bit more. Well, I mean, I do like the cherry blossom design on it. I'll wear that. Alrighty. Um, I guess we'll see what the boss is like. So those threads were connected to this door. Maybe this is somehow linked to the place being messed up. Hmm. That's strange. My sprout was getting stronger. Seems like it's responding to this creepy door or something. Huh? Might be able to open it if we boost my power with some sparkle gems. I'm assuming there's like a certain amount that you gotta unlock it. Can you give me some of the sparkle gems you collected? I got all of them so far. Yep, okay, so yeah, there is a certain amount that you need to unlock these doors. But, thankfully, I got all of them. Here you go, Stella. They're pretty much a season Mario Wonder. Pretty much, yeah. Boss time? Is it boss time? I think it's boss time. Yeah, that looks like a boss time <laughs> event. It, it does look pretty slow, that's for sure. Like, you can tell by the frames. It's like, yeah, it chugs in this game. Ooh. Disco ball? Oh, it's a big bird. Who will beat you? How would you get through a dark door? Oh, I can progress this text. We rewrite story with Madame Grape, so if you're here to stop us... Can I punish you with Madame Grape's power of Darkle? Darkle? Like that the opposite of sparkles? Hello. Disco wing. Disco stoop? Alright, uh, what is the play here? Uh, what do I do with that? What do I do with that? Hmm. Uh, okay, I think I see what I need to do. Once it comes back around, maybe? Oh, nope. Uh, what the heck? Okay. 
Oh! Oh, buddy. Okay, we're upside down, it seems. Alright, cool. Alright, I'm gonna wait till you come back around. That's what I'm assuming I have to do. Let's go. There we go. Yep, yeah, there we go. Cool. Gotcha. What is that? Um, what am I doing with that? I don't know, I was button mashing. I don't know if button mashing actually helped or not. Okay, what are you doing now? Blocks? Okay. I'm assuming I probably need these blocks, maybe? Oh, oh, don't stand underneath that. That probably would've hurt. Uh, oh, what in- oh! Okay. How do? Okay, now you're dropping these disco balls again. Alright, cool. And drop it down. There we go. There we go. Cool. Oh yeah, I am buddy mashing for this one. Alright, cool. So you do have a buddy mash for this. Alright, back down again. Uh, what are you dropping now? More blocks, which I'm not gonna stand on top of. Unless you're gonna trick me. Nope! Alright, cool. I'm assuming you're gonna drill through these blocks. Yep, looks like it! Uh, now you're bouncing. Cool. Alright, cool. Alright, drop the disco balls. There we go. Alright. Oh, nope, we're not dropping disco balls. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay. I hit it prematurely there. Nope. Let's drop these. Nope, I missed. Okay. We're going back down again. I think we're going back down. Yep, going back down. Okay, you hash, though. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Alright, are you gonna bounce? Yep, you're gonna bounce. Alright, uh, more just ball. We're gonna uh, wait. Alright, uh, let's hit shoot. Oh, that did not miss. Cool. Alright, button mash, button mash, button mash. And that's it. Alright, that wasn't that bad of a boss. Easy peasy. Yeah, boss is dead. <laughs> boss is dead. <laughs> Why can I say I'm too good at this game? <laughs> Alright, boss is down. Ooh, we can go upstairs now. This floor is back to normal because of you. Yay! Thank you so much! Still haven't seen any sparkles, though. I wonder where they went. I'm not worried about them. Maybe they evacuated to one of the other floors. Let's go look. <laughs> oh, well, this area is all cleared up now. Hello. Hmm. No more... Now, where will I find the next one? Oh, hello there. I'm a Sparkle Theater's Pictioneer. I specialize in performance photos. I'm currently seeking a new perf um, performer who really shines for the camera. I recently snapped images from a particularly riveting performance, in fact. Could it be, young lady, that you too are a performer? Hmm? I hope that- I hope then that you don't mind me taking photos of you in all your glory on stage. If you click all the sparkle gems during the play, I'll catch up and make them as a photo of you. And of course, as thanks for your cooperation, I'll give you an album and any photos I snap. I look forward to your stunning performances. An album of Peach's performance. So what if I did collect all the, all the sparkle gem? So please, my recent work, I added more to your album, so take a gander. Anything else? Oh, okay, you're just taking me inside. Ooh. 
Alright, alright. Alright, not bad, not bad. So I guess he, this is just like one photo per stage, which... Oh, wait, hold up. Why is there like three of them? There's three for Sword Fighter, three for Ninja, and... Huh. Do we actually like redo these stages again at some point? Hmm. Not so certain. Maybe. There might be like three acts. Maybe. Maybe like in the upper floors there might be um, more of them later on. Because I already got everything here. So, alrighty. Ooh, what do you got to say? Ever heard of a hard charm? Oh yeah, you're the hard charm person. Those are three hearts. I mean, nah, I'm good. Uh, what do you got to say? Rehearsals for the Swordfire play are happening here. Apologies for the initial delay. Take out as many enemies as you can. The rehearsal will end if you take any damage. You will have one for reward prepared based on your performance. Now show us your very best. So, Swordfire Sword EX. So, huh, okay. Yeah, I guess we'll give a gander at this. Sure. Sure, we'll do Sword Fighter Rehearsal. How hard can it be? <laughs> Alright, so if I get hit, that's the end of it from what I'm assuming. I want to get these guys up here. Okay, maybe not. I want to hit you guys. I can't hit them up there. Cool. Can I not hit them up? I guess I can't. Whoa, there's thorns over there. Whoop. All right. Ooh, that's a bunch of you guys. Oh, there we go. Okay, I had to be on the ground to do it. Okay, that's good to know. All right, cool. Oh, don't hit me. Bunch of them. Nope. Get out of my way. Alright. Whoop! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Alright. Nope. Oh, there's more of you guys. Nope. Oh, and more. Oh! There's a bunch of you guys. Holy smokes! Oh, I need, I need 140. No! <laughs> ah, I almost got gold. Yes, I would like to try again. Yes. Okay. All right, all right. There's a little bit of challenges in this. That I don't mind. All right, so let's try and get all of them here as fast as we can. All right, there we go. Okay, so I have to be on the ground to do that. I can't. I can't do it in mid air. That's good to know. So, okay, there we go. Let's try not to miss any of them. Break that. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. I don't want to miss these guys, especially. That's a bunch of them. Alright, come on. Break that. There we go. Ah, I got touched. <laughs> I got touched. No, I want that gold. <laughs> Give me that gold. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess so far from the stages that we played in this first floor, uh, I really like Ninja. Ninja was a fun one. <laughs> and funny is, strangely enough, I actually do like the cowgirl one. Even though I'm not really a big fan of the cowboy motif thing, but that was actually pretty fun. But I like the Ninja one. That Ninja one was actually pretty fun. <laughs> The one I didn't really care for was the, the Baker one. Because uh, there was not much going on for that one, in my honest opinion. You're like, you're just baking cake, that's all you're doing. Uh, fight, let's maybe get- No, nope, There's some of them I missed down there, okay. Uh, I probably missed a few there, okay. Try not to miss them. 
No, get back over here. Alright. I do want to get that gold. So hopefully we'll reach there. So there is a certain amount of time you have left to hit these guys. Oh no! I got hit. <laughs> we'll keep on trying. Alright. You know what? I, I am fine with a little bit of challenge in this, because so far the game was very, very simplistic, but I'm glad there's a little bit of challenge in this. I don't mind. Oh, I welcome it. You know, I'm telling you to get to a certain point of his frustration. <laughs> like, th this is very much reminding me of, like, just, like, challenges in Kirby. Because, you know, the, 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 the alphas that Peach has is basically, um, just, uh, the copy ability of Kirby. Frick, man. No, let me get under 40. Let me get that. Well, keep on trying to do this. <laughs> like, the game is short, so I will take my sweet time in this. Alright, so let's do, go up here. Oh. Oh, come on, get, get that guy. I wonder if the obstacles count as a lot, but I don't know for sure. Oh, you guys are everywhere. Alright, let's take care of the bottom ones first here. Oh. Oh. Okay, so maybe I'm supposed to do this. No! Urgh. Try to get as many of those as I can. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> Let me hit them! <laughs> oh, this is good. You know what? Like, this is just the first challenge, but yeah, it's like one hit and then you're done. So, you cannot get hit at all. Nope, go away. Go away, you. Alright. Take care of you guys. There we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of this, just so I don't get hit by that, just in case. Get as many here as I can. Oh, frick, man! Come on! <laughs> you just playing Mario but small? Pretty much. Like, pretty much I am. But I can say so far, yeah, the game the, the game seems relatively fun. Like I can't say if it's worth the price or not. Like I can't get my full um my full uh opinion of that. Cause I heard some people say it, it should have been forty, but uh, I'll judge it for myself. All right, let's take care of you guys. All right, let's take care of this. There we go. Oh, come on! It's always the top ones that hit me. Brand new, maybe not, but on sale, I guess. Yeah, like I feel like I feel like at some point this game will drop in price, but I don't know. Oh, oh, buddy. But we'll see. Like, I'll, I'll see once I beat the game and see if it's actually worth a 60 or not. Like, right now, like, I can't say for sure. Like, I could probably see why people will make the argument that this game should have been a 40. I feel like, at the minimum, probably 50. But, uh, yet again, I don't know. It's Nintendo. Nintendo usually prizes their games, like, at full price most of the time. Alright, let's try not... To hit you guys. Oh, 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 oh. oh, nope, I need to get those guys. Nope, oh, oh. Alright. Oh, oh, there's more of you guys here. Alright. Let's hit these. Oh, nope. Frick! I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. 
Yeah, like, for right now, I can definitely say, like, this game feels like a $50 game, not 60 But, again, I don't know what contents is in this, and I'm not... I, I don't know, like, personally, if they plan on DLC, which I don't think they will have DLC for this game. I'd be very surprised if they plan on DLC for this. But I feel like this game, you know, doesn't need DLC. I mean, if it does, then kudos, but I don't know if I'll see myself gaining the DLC. But if there is going to be one, uh, we'll see. The game just came out, so it's, it's just the beginning. Alright, take care of you guys. Take care of this first. There we go. Oh, well, slowly take care of these guys up here. Oh my god! <laughs> You. There we go. Oh! Frick, 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 frick! Who? Nope. Alright. Get you guys first. Alright. Alright. Cool. Nope. Alright. Destroy this. Cool. Alright. Here they come! Here they come! Here they come! I'm up. 40, 40, 40. There we go. Ah, there it is. Got the gold. Yeah. 152. No, I'm good. <laughs> We've reached the goal. It's such a weird thing to really say when it comes to your price of the games because on one, I would agree for 40, but hey, I don't know. 50 sounds like a good medium. Like, I prefer the way they did it rather than making everything 80. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like right now, from one of you in this game, I can more still say, eh, it'd probably be better if it was a 50, but we'll never know unless I beat the game and give my full opinion of this game. Also, we got gold. So, yay, we got the ribbon and we got a new outfit for Peach. So, there's that. So, what's that outfit? It's a star outfit. That's actually kind of cute. I don't like that. But since we got more coins, I can buy more things in the shop. Alright, uh... Ooh! Me likey. Me actually like that. No, you know what? Yes, I want to wear that. That actually looks kind of cute, yes. I like the purple! That's actually very cute. That is very much cute. Uh, yeah, you're early in and can't really say, yep, $40 game, when half the people are saying that maybe have not played or be in it. Yeah. Basically, so I'll wait until then. Anything else I can do around here? Do you have anything else for me? No, that's just sword fighter. Okay. So anything else I can do? Now, let's check downstairs. I'm kind of curious if anything changed downstairs after we clear this floor. I bet you, like downstairs is probably the boss gauntlets or something. Anything happen down here? I'm gonna see if there's anything that's changed down here. Nothing has changed. Okay, so even after the boss, nothing has changed down here just yet. I really don't know what's down here, but we'll see for ourselves. Uh, how long have we been streaming? Not that long, an hour 45. But yeah, we can still keep going. I like it as further as I can in this game. Uh, let's actually go upstairs then. The rest of the the door did. Ooh, left or right? Let's go left. I actually choose left. Alright, second floor. We have the perfect infiltration. Oh, that's the thief um, costume. This one is... Oh, there's a second- Okay, there is a sword- Okay, so there's another ad for the sword fighter. Okay, so they make you do replay the same costumes. I actually kind of like that. Because the, the, these stages are short, so... <laughs> Alright, so there's a second ad for the sword fighter. Have you seen the sour bunch around? I mean, they're all over the place. Um, What else do we have here? No, I like the flowers, though. Maybe the sword fighter sparkler is around here. Who knows? This one's Detective, the Case of the Missing Mural, and we got Figure Skater Peach. Okay, okay. Detective 
Sparkle could solve this. What's going on here? Alright, alright, so we got a few choices here. Um, I guess who? So we got Sword Fighter, Thief, uh, Figure Skater, and Detective. I think we should do Detective, because that's actually one of the first few outfits they introduced. So let's go for Detective. The Case of the Missing Mural. Let's go in. I feel like there's gonna be lots of thinking for this one. <laughs> or who knows, maybe it might be very simplistic. But we shall see. Alright! Onward to the stage! Each time. Ooh. Aww. Everyone here looks scared! But why? The detective here always solves mysteries and keeps people feeling safe. Alright, well, let's get these coins. Hello, what's going on? I haven't been feeling safe here lately. What would I do if I was attacked? Oh no, maybe a murder happened. Well, it's oh shoot, I didn't want to go in there. Oh, no, actually, I do. I lost my ticket. Uh, is there a ticket over here? Oh, yeah, I found it. There you go. Alright, yep, it confirms that anybody with um, this little, these little guys with the hats or look like mares, they will give you the ribbon. Alright, cool. That's good to know. Anything up here? Nope. I don't see anything else. Alright. Uh, excuse me? Leave me be! Fork over everything you got. You stay out of this. No, get out of here. Shoot. Scram. Oh, there's more over there. Can I... Thank you, you're really brave. I like how Peach dances with these guys whenever they're cheerful. <laughs> Hello. Where could the police be? I could pitch in too. I saw you help out. You were incredible. I see that behind there, by the way. Yeah. That. Cool. The ancient mural sounds intriguing. Any secret spots around here? Oh. I like the little alphas. Museum is closed today. This is urgent. There's been a threat. I'll be taking point on looking into it. A junior detective like you can't handle this. You better just head home, kid. Guess it's no use. Oh, I like him! He looks so cute with his little newspaper boy hat. No, he looks so adorable. Let him, let him be a detective. The museum's temporarily closed. Okay, fine. I can't do this on my own. I don't know why I feel like a musical number was about to happen there. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna look around before I talk to you, my dude. Nothing else around here? Nope. Nope, <laughs> the light is shining upon me and him. Here you go. Confidence boost. No, I won't give up. I just need a new plan. Will you come with me? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Give me more coins. Yeah. Cool. Quick in here. Should I go in there? Ooh, the detective is right uh, is out right now. So who? And while I'm really happy, uh, I, I, I while I really want to help them, I can't even solve the mystery of this office. Well, I see symbols, that's for sure. So star, and then lightning, and then cloud, and then sun. There we go! Whoa! Nice. Give me that. Wow, you saw that with such ease! I mean, it was a very simple puzzle, my dude. <laughs> very simple. I like the little transition, because, be, you know, you're still into play, but they have to do the little turning the stage transition. 
I like that. Alright, time to be a detective. Bye bye, purple dress. I like the new lines for her. I do like the new lines. Yes. Take the peach. All right. So. Okay, so the spotlight happens when I'm holding B. All right, cool. I like her outfit, though. Wait, where did the genie detective go? That is a good question. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. What's this? What's this? Can I do anything with that? A treasure chest. Let's open it. Hey, coin. Anything else? Cup. I see detective's desk, and it looks like there's a note here. Uh, strike the intuition. Sure. Be careful, Peach. You'll lose hearts if you guess wrong with your. Oh, okay. <laughs> but since we're practicing in this office, you won't lose hearts if you guess wrong here. Okay. Alrighty. Good to know. No, oh, I didn't want to look at that. So, note here. I'm off to investigate an intriguing case. Mind the office while I'm out. Okay. Anything else? Oh, there is uh, something down here. Oh, there's a note on the floor. Let's see here. If you're a true detective, you'll find me. Oh, I see you, but let me look around first. Who would have guessed there would have been a secret door here? I, I, I see you, but I'm looking around first. These are pictures of the city's esteemed detective and the junior detective. Junior told us that the detective is out right now. Well, I definitely see you for sure. Those are some fluffy cushions. Alright. Strike of intuition. Uh -huh. Alright, cool. Alright. Thank you. Amazing. Nothing gets past you, detective. You really can detect these with your strike of intuition. Oh, well, I mean, the first one was just like, what is that about? <laughs> but <laughs> it's practice. Now, come on. A mystery awaits us. Let's go. Alright, alright. So, can I look around here? Oh, there's a little mystery here. That did look suspicious when I first saw that. Patty would be so proud. <laughs> oh, I see a secret here. So, what has to be an exclamation mark to view it? I'm assuming so. It's a big wooden crate. Wonder what's inside. Okay. Uh, I I, I want to look in it. I want to look in it. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Nothing else around here. She can't really hop. All right, cool. I see. All right, anything. Anything else around here that looks suspicious? Oh no, my dude. I will talk to you in the moment. I'm looking around. Don't let anyone pass. I'm passing you, but <laughs> whatever. Oh, there's another secret here, I think. Yep, I feel a secret. Hey! Alright, cool, cool, cool. I felt that. Um, anything else around here? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, let's go talk to Junior here. Nope. Can I not talk to you? Okay, guess I gotta go through these guys. Oh! a Detective! Please, go on inside! Alright! Let's go in. Detective, you came! You're just in time! The curator is waiting in the room next door! Everything's locked down! Now, bleh. Uh, 
They locked out the museum and now I can't go home. Okay. Two bears waiting. Can I, like, I guess I can look into these. It's a shellfish fossil that was discovered nearby. This area was submerged in the water long ago. Okay. Come on. Can I look into this? Can I not? Or do I have to be far away? I'm just a staff member. If you're looking for information, you should talk to the curator. Alright, but let me look around. It's a fresh stone slab. They're restoring it bit by bit in order to make it uh, legible. Okay. Hello. That officer won't let anyone leave. I wonder what's going on. No, no, I want to look at the thing here. It's a re relief of a sparkle gem. It seems they were valued by important people in the past, too. Okay. There's a scroll here. Apparently the characters on this hanging scroll can only be understood by ninja. Hello. I was hoping to see the mummies in the back room. Hope they open up soon. The mummies are calling me. Anything else I can look around for? Hmm. Okay, I not, not look into this. Nope, I can't. Alrighty. Uh, everything is fine here. I got this place under tight surveillance. Nothing escapes my notice. Nothing. Okie dokie. Hello. So, you should talk to the curator first. Interviews are the foundation of a good investigation. Oh god, I'm not really good cool with mysteries. <laughs> my dude, I am not good cool with mysteries. Detective, you're here. Thank goodness. You see, a threatening note has been placed on the feet. Thipota mural. Okay, Thipota. It reads, we're coming for the Thipota mural. Consider yourself warned. If something were to happen to our mural... Uh oh. What's this? A power outage? Wah! Uh oh. Oh no! The mural is gone! Please, you have to track down the culprits! Where did the fiends go? Please, you have to track down the culprits! It was stolen the instant things went dark! How maddening! But you at the window. The window has a lash tight, so how did they get here? What about you? What you gotta say? Detective, it's time for us to get to work. Let's talk to witnesses and explore the museum. We have to figure out where the culprit went. Alright. It was so dark and I couldn't see well, but I felt someone brush past me as they went into the room on the left. On the left, okay. That power outage was unsteadily. Ugh, I hope the mummies are okay. We're terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Please wait just a little bit longer. I just want to go home! I kept close watch on this entryway and nobody came through on my watch. Slice Totem now. I could swear it wasn't like that before the outage. Well, let's investigate. It's a stone slate car with ancient text. What's this? It seems like you can move it. Alright. Hold on. Look at it again. Strike up intuition! Uh -huh. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Cool! Alright, that was our fifth one, but can we look into this? No? Well, would you look at that? Never would have known a secret passion was there all along! So, do I talk to the curator, I'm, I'm assuming? Probably so. Let's go back to the curator. Detective, it's time for us to get to work. Let's talk with this about looking. Well, let's talk to you. Or do we talk to anybody else around here? No, no, I wasn't trying to talk to you. Okay, what about you? Do I talk to you? Okay. 
And I guess we just keep on going. Well, that was terrifying. I'm super scared of the dark. I was clinging to that officer over there during the entire outage. outage. Blah. Damage makes it impossible to be sure, but this is believed to be a diagram of some ruins. Okay. No one passed. Uh, no one passed through this door during the outage. But that staff member grabbed onto me, so I could have moved if I wanted to. Hmm. So. Hmm. So there was a vent there, but how? Hmm. Okay. But can I do anything with this? Oh, no, I could. It's an air duct. Maybe the culprits used this. Let's see what's inside. Okay, I didn't check it. Can I... Okay, there we go. Wait for me! Alright. A heart there, but I'm not gonna grab it. Oh! The display case is broken. The items on display here were the Bandango Mask of Disguise. It says, wearing one of these masks allows this wearer to alter their appearance. Of course, the culprits must be using these masks to disguise themselves. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, let's see. Masks of disguise. Wearing one of these masks allows this wearer to alter their appearance. Let's see, so the masks were displayed here. Alright, anything else? Oh, the trash is though. Give me that. Let's open it. Alright, more coins. Cool, cool, cool. Anything else? Oh, it's a key, though. I saw that when we came in here. Space key. Maybe we can find a use for it. Uh, let's hope so. Anything else around here? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Hello. I'm certain those fiends are in here somewhere. Oh, there's something sparkling in the neck, sarcophagus. Surely the culprits are in disguise. Let's collect clues and find them. I see a key over there, however. My popcorn! <laughs> Surely the culprits are in disguise, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, well, I see this. It's the nose of truth. It says anyone who smells of deceit will meet a terrible end. Okay. But I see a key here. Diamond key. I'm assuming they're for the sarcophagus. My popcorn! When the lights went out, someone stole my popcorn! The nerve! One of my precious cameras I sell here is missing! It was right here before the power went out. Hmm, okay. Nothing around here. I haven't seen anyone suspicious. Okay. Uh, more importantly, let's look around. Let's talk to you guys. No one has come or gone through here. Uh, what about you? Why is there a, there a new statue? There are only there were only two before. Hmm. I mean, they all look different for sure. You see the statue with the sunglasses? That's one's the real deal. I don't believe you. It's carving a hero holding a round shield. This hero fought with nothing but the shield. Let's check these real quick. Statue of two great playwrights. Apparently they watched a play together over a single bag of popcorn. Okay, what about this one? Statues of two great playwrights. Oh, okay, so you say the same thing. Okay. Well, let's talk to everybody here. Oh, well, I mean, nothing out of ordinary here. You're a little bit sus. Is this popcorn? I wonder if someone dropped it. I mean, the popcorn has to be over there, but... There are footprints, however, though. So, they kind of went to this side. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's keep on looking. Hello. There are some strange sounds coming from this room. Could it be a ghost? <laughs> this is a wood covering a bird. In the past, it was often used in the festive celebrations. Oh, jeez! <laughs> hey, it works! 
Yay! <laughs> Moape, thank you so much for the raid! Thank you so much! <laughs> that made me jump. <laughs> but Moape, thank you so much for the raid. I hope your stream was going well. Um, we are currently playing... Well, I am. I'm currently playing uh, Princess Peach Showtime Blind. And so far we're trying to solve a case in Detective Peach. I hope your stream was pretty good. Anyways, <laughs> that little mini heart attack there. <laughs> um, Alright, so anyways, we're trying to find the culprit here. Before it got dark, there was an officer in here. Where did they go? I don't know. Oh, that's good. Now I need to head to bed because work is at 10pm. I need a nap. That is totally A-OK. -okay. Go get some rest. But thank you for raiding and stopping by. Thank you so much. A treasure chest. Let's open it. Alright. Uh, ooh, the statue. The, the Feaster, <laughs> Feaster Island statue. When I see it, I feel like it's no things no one else understands. A model of burial site for an important person. There is said to be power in the pyramid shape. But there is keys here that I do want to put um, in. Yeah, I got the key. Give me that. Give me that little sparkle gem. Thank you. And let's open this. Maybe the culprit's in here? Let's see. Who is in there? Hey! Hello. You are sus. Thank you. Thank you for getting me out of there. I may not look... I may not look it, but I'm actually an officer. Someone attacked me, stole my uniform, and locked me in there. It was all black after that. Alright, I think I know who the culprit is, but first... Uh, little uh, spotlight here. Ooh, I see a treasure chest. I want to grab that. Give me that. Alright, cool. Can I look into this? Nothing around here. Nope. Got this. Well, anything else? Nope, nothing out of ordinary. Alright, cool. Yes. Alright, so they said that you're an officer. You are the culprit. Nah, you're the culprit. You're the culprit. Wait. Oh. You were acting sus, though. You were acting sus. Okay. <laughs> I got a little bit confident about that. <laughs> oh, there's another thing over here. Hold on. Look, they were acting sus. So, you got locked in. Thank you for getting me out of there. I may not look like I'm an Austrian officer. So, I'm gonna attack me, stole my uniform. And locked me in there. It was all black after that. So someone locked you in there. You're an officer and still wants to steal your outfit. Huh. Hmm. You have sunglasses, however, though. That was a real deal. Huh. You also have sunglasses, though. Hey, okay. but thing, buddy. No, they're disguised, but the thing is, they stole officers' clothing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I don't know, though. Hmm. Yeah, statue with the sunglasses, that one was the real deal. Okay, but... There were only two before. Hmm. There's popcorn over there, but... Hmm. I'm not really good with detective cases, so... 
So, someone disguised, but... So it was not you. I need to talk to you again. I'm actually an officer. Someone attacked me, stole my uniform, and locked me in there. It was all black after that. Huh. Okay. Well, at least I got extra hearts, but I'm kinda... You said the, the statue with the sunglasses is the real deal. So... There were only two before, so one of these statues has to be a, a faker. Hmm. Not really too sure. The footprints did show. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I should strike an intuition of this one. And they say this, this one's the real deal, though, so that makes me feel like that's actually not the culprit here. But it also says someone's disguised. Hmm. So, can I do anything with this thing? The knows the truth says anyone who smells a deceit will meet a terrible end. Man, I can't really strike intuition with that. One of my precious cameras I sell here is missing. I mean, he has a camera, though. It was right here before the power went out. I wonder if you're the culprit, because you have a camera, and this guy says that one of the cameras is missing. But the officer over there has a camera. Hmm. Someone stole my popcorn with a nerve. You have a camera, though. Well, no, you have a camera, too. Yeah, both of you have a camera. Hmm. I'm a little bit sus about you. Huh. Okay. So let me talk to this guy again, cause he has he said his outfit was stolen. So I almost stole my uniform and locked me in there. It was all black after that. So I'm assuming it's one of the officers. You have a camera. And this guy's saying that one of the cameras is missing. I'm gonna give it a hunch, and maybe it might be this guy. I might be wrong, though. I think I might be wrong. Let's see. Uh -huh. Oh, I was right! Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. So it was their closing camera that gave them away. Nice work. There's one more thief remaining, but I'm sure you'll be able to catch them. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, alright. That wasn't too bad. Like, I kind of feel like it was an officer, because that other officer was acting a little bit sus. Alright, so there's one more. So, what, do you guys have new clues now? Or what? Ugh. I almost stole my uniform and locked me in here. It was all blackout. Okay. So, the same thing. I just gotta find the other one. Can't believe an officer was locked in the surf hack, because maybe the fiend did that. So, someone stole popcorn? Hmm. So... So it has to be popcorn, then, from the looks of it. You have anything else to say? Okay. What do you have to say? Using the camera to blend in? That was pretty clever. I'm glad you found the culprit. So my guess is probably somebody with... Um... Popcorn. You have a camera, you have sunglasses. 
There's only one person that had popcorn on them. So... Maybe you. Hmm. Part of me thinks it might be you. Because we already got the guy with the camera. I'm gonna go for it. Let's see. Are you the culprit? Uh -huh. Nope. <laughs> nope. Alright, alright. So you're not the culprit. I'm talking still me before I'm locked in here. Okay. So you're not a culprit. Someone must have dropped it. Okay. Hmm. Someone stole my popcorn. The nerve. So, someone stole the popcorn, but... Where, though? Question. Hmm. If maybe it might be the statues, but... I, I don't know, man. It might be one of these guys. Hmm. So he's saying maybe it's the middle one. Maybe the middle one. Let's give it a go. Let's see. Ah, I was right. Cool. That did look a little bit suspicious, though. That was one bag of, uh, that was one bag pocket too many. Excellent work, detective. We rounded them all up. Let's go speak with the museum curator. Of course. All right. All right, got another sparkle jump. Nice. All right. So what happens now? <laughs> what a great detective, even though I kind of accused two people wrongly. I can't believe any an officer was locked in the sarcophagus. Maybe the fiends did that. I hear the culprits were caught. Thank goodness. So, um, where's my uniform? Well, pff, I don't know. I'm so glad it wasn't actually a ghost. You really are an impressive detective. Now I can kick back. Even though I wrongly accused you, but okay. I had a good info for you. I mean, you kind of did. You said that the statue was a real deal, so... And there was only two... So the culprit was disguised as a statue. Like, part of me was thinking, like, maybe they weren't disguised as a statue, but, you know, it was kind of good to check and strike an, uh, strike an intuition on the said object. We found all the culprits. You're incredible. Now that we found them, we should get it back to the curator. Uh, just give me a moment. Hold on. I just want to talk to everybody before I do. So the culprit was holding my popcorn. He must have been hungry. I mean, I'm actually hungry too. Like, not gonna lie, I'm actually- I am pretty hungry. Alright, um, yeah, I guess that's it for the detective portion, I'm assuming. Oh. Gotta go back here. Tell the truth! Tell us where the mural is! We don't know nothing! <laughs> As if we tell you how we hid it somewhere in the museum. Aha! It's still inside the museum, then. Ugh, I mean, I don't know nothing! It is in the detective! You're right at the perfect time. Thanks to you, we got all the culprits in custody. However, we still don't know where the mural is. You have to find it. We're on the case. Oh, thank you for the heart. Alright, so let's look around once again. What you gotta say? The culprit drew on the wall so quickly. I guess that makes them artists, sort of. I knew this case wasn't closed yet. Let's hunt for clues and figure out where the mural is. You know, whenever I'm stuck on a case, I find that fresh air is great for clearing my head. Fresh air, huh? Now that the thieves have been captured, we're laying folks through the door again. Nothing around here. 
There's something written on the wall where the mirror was hanging before. So we take the depot to Miro, our gang. You've got to find the Miro. We're counting on you. You guys have anything else to say? The thieves refuse to give us more info. No matter what I do. We searched the whole museum. Where could they have carried it off to? I don't know. Huh? I can go back to the room now? Hooray! Now I can see the mummies! You really want to see the mummies. Oh, where are you going, though? Hold on, I'm curious. Where are you going? Oh. Oh. Well, I can't go in there now. <laughs> uh, let's keep on talking to the folks, though. I could really use some fresh air. If only we could open a door- a window. Could the culprit really have carried off such a big mural? The mirror was pretty big. I doubt they had been able to fit through the door. But then how would they carry it, though? There's no way the mirror would fit through the air duct. It's way too big. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think the mirror behind there. I mean, there are footprints, but it kind of just stops here, though. <laughs> so, how would they fit through? Hmm. I mean, the only door as big as this one, but I can't get through it. Damage makes it impossible to be sure, but this is believed to be a diagram of some ruins. Hmm, okay. I know the case only- Okay, you say the same thing. But they said fresh air might be good, so... Where would... Hmm. Can I just go outside, though? Yo, let me go out. Well, I can't. Hmm. Yeah, like, like, it's too big. Hmm. So, could they really have carried off the mural? Everybody, I doubt they have been able to fit through the store. But the thing is, I don't know where I'm supposed to look at. Mm -hmm. they were valued by poor people that impact you. Hmm. Could we use a fresh air, but only we could open a window. So you sound sus, but I can't strike a intu intuition onto you. Because you're like, if only someone opened the window, so that seems a little bit sus. So am I supposed to, like, look for it? In Hold up. Mm -hmm. That window is a little too high for us to reach on our own. I bet we could reach it with a stepping stool. Well, thankfully there was a stepping stool, so we can use this. If we stand on the stool, we may be able to examine the window. Well, let's go. I see. Oh, I can't do anything with that? Mm -hmm. There we go. Maybe if we use a stool here. Good night. There we go. Good night. Can I jump up there? Can I jump? There we go. Let's try opening the window. Oh, it was there all along, wasn't it? I think it was there all along. There's something written on the wall where the mirror was hanging before. Strike of intuition. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was there all along. Oh my, so the mirror was here all along. It was never stolen. Oh yay, you have my eternal gratitude for everything you've done for the museum. Oh no, I was sure the plan was foolproof. We did it. Watching you unravel this mystery was truly inspiring. You are our new great detective. 
And now the case is really closed. Indeed. Yay, we got all of them. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs> That's an interesting dress design. Also, more outfits to buy. That was an, that was an interesting um case. <laughs> oh, I am hungry though. All right, all right, not too bad, not too bad. So far, the game seems relatively interesting, to say the least. All right, and the detective one is cleared. All right, and I guess that's it for now. Like, cause I'm actually pretty hungry, but we got figure skater. Uh, we get uh, the perfect infiltration for the thief. And we got Act 2 of the Sword Fighter. But I guess next time I guess we'll probably do the figure skater and then just go along here. We'll probably do the Sword Fighter thing last. Also, I want to buy something in the shop, so let me go downstairs real quick. Oh yeah, um, so far, not too bad of a game. Not too bad. I'm just kind of curious how many more are there, and I do like that there's like more ass for like the said um, plays that we've done before. So I do like that because I thought there was just gonna be a one and done deal, but I'm glad they're not. All right, well let's buy the polka dot one. <laughs> uh, sure, because I probably won't like the. Uh, how many more do we have for Stella? We just have the last one, which is red. Uh, we'll change the color for her. Uh, so that's the polka dot one. Not really a fan of that. I still do like the boss one. That one looks pretty, really cool. Along with this rose one. That looks pretty too. But, uh, we'll give you blue. I don't think I've seen you with blue yet. But yeah, alright, cool. Oh yeah, I could check the albums as well. I believe I can. Oh, there's a detective one. Yeah, there's more ass. Okay, so there are... I like that. Uh, I like that a lot. It's like, you know, there's more ass for these things. Because it, it, I'm glad they're not like a one-and-done deal thing. Oh, cool, cool, cool. We got Ninja Peach. We got Cowgirl Peach. We got uh, Detective Peach. And we got Petitiere Peach. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so I guess, yeah, I'll just end it here, like, like I said, uh, this game, pretty fun so far, probably continue more of it on Wednesday, as of right now, but yeah, like, th this game's pretty chill, there, uh, the, the, there's a lot of, like, creative aspects into this, but yeah, so, yeah, um, next time on, hopefully Wednesday, we'll play more, uh, Prince Peach Showtime. As uh, for myself on Kochibi, uh, more of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth tonight. But anyways, you guys have yourself a wonderful day. And thank you for the raid, Mwapa, even though you're sleeping. But thank you so much. Um, Yeah, you guys have a wonderful one. And take care. Bye!